Hi Rebecca, this is your instruction video on how to access your website and to make some changes. And so first of all, I've sent you an email with a link and a username and password. If you click the link, put in the username and password and then click sign me in. You can ignore any messages over the right hand side. I'm not really sure why they appear. There is nothing outstanding and there are no payments due. So just completely ignore that. Um, and the thing that we're looking at here is the left hand side, which says websites. So if you click that, Then you'll notice what appears is a little preview thumbnail of your website. And just below that you have edit website. So click on that. Um, what that will do is it will load the system that I use, which is called Bramble. If you've got a fast high speed broadband like I've got, it will load in seconds, literally like that, a couple of seconds. And if you're on a slower connection, it can take up to sort of 60 seconds for it to load up and in, um, into your um, browser window. But once it's loaded, it will look a little bit like this. Um, you can ignore any strange symbols that you come across. These are all different things that are turned off for mobile phones and turned off for tablets. So just completely ignore any of those and leave those as they are. Um, things like the slider, they'll all appear one on top of the, each other, whereas obviously the images actually scroll through on the website. So again, ignore how they display within Bramble um, and you can leave all those as they are. Um, and then basically when you come down to any parts that you want to amend, if you click, um, you'll see the box that highlights green, which means you're then in that particular area so that you can then change and edit text as you wish. Um, you have an undo button. If you didn't really mean to do that, you click that and it goes back to how it was. Um, a really important thing to say as well is if you don't hit that green publish button, you won't save any changes. So if you accidentally delete things and you accidentally break things um, and you didn't mean to get rid of them, so let's say we delete um, different parts we didn't mean to delete, we make lots of changes we didn't actually mean to. As long as you don't click publish, you're absolutely fine. You won't have done any damage at all. Um, so what you can do is if you accidentally make loads of mistakes, so if I accidentally delete this whole section here, and I didn't mean to do that, and I don't want to use the undo, what I can just do is exit and leave. And basically that hasn't saved those changes and I've done no damage at all. Um, so don't be frightened about working on the live website because if you get really stuck, um, that's the way out. Just don't hit publish and just leave and that way you've done no damage. A um, few other important things to say is don't change too much of the text. This has all been listed to Google as keywords. So if you go ahead and delete lots of text, what happens is you'll delete lots of keywords that Google has found um, and is using to rank you. So concentrate really on just small alterations to any text that you want to or adding a little bit more text. Those will be the things that I would recommend rather than deleting too much of what's there. Um, another thing to remember is don't play around with the font sizes too much and the different fonts. Um, what I've done on this website is make sure it's optimized so it's good on computers, laptops, tablets, phones. Um, so if you go ahead and you, you start making text size changes, making things bigger and smaller, um, that will mean that on the phones and the tablet versions it will do strange things. Um, so best to keep the font sizes as they are um, and basically that's a simple way in and, and making alterations. So again, you'd come down, you click each section, the green box comes up, that means you're then in live in those areas and you can make those alterations as you want to. Um, so that covers the sort of basics of logging in and getting around. What you'll find at the top here is you have lots of different pages. Um, so these are all the different pages on your site. Um, so let's go, for example, the about page. Um, similar thing, everything you click, you'll get a section that you can enter and change. Um, so again, you'd be able to go in and alter any of the text within here, highlight bits you don't want, uh, make any changes, so nice and straightforward. Um, same for the blog, anything that you click, it, it gives you that page. Again, you'll see lots of different things like this, which is displaying differently on phones and differently on tablets. Um, again, just ignore those, everything's functioning perfectly. Um, but again, you could go in and make some alterations or some changes to those parts. Um, I'll cover images in another video if that's something that you're interested in being able to change. Um, it's a little bit tricky. You need something like Photoshop to resize the images. Um, so what I'd say for now is that if you want to change any images at the moment, just email those across to me and I'll do those for you. Um, so something like adding a new blo um, blog post with a new image, you'd be best off letting me do that for you for the time being. Um, there's no charge in that. That's part of the package that you pay. You have 30 minutes a month of free support from me. Um, so you can take advantage of that and I can look after some of the image side of things for you at the moment. Um, it just makes life a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, hopefully that covers enough for now. Um, 
getting you in, getting you sort of moving around different pages, being able to go in and make some alterations to text. Um, obviously, once you've made any changes, you then do hit this publish change button. Um, and then that will basically save those changes. So it's just be aware you are working on the live website. So if you go and delete lots of things and then you hit the green button, you have actually deleted them. Um, I do have a backup, um, but they are a little bit tricky to, to put those back on for you. So for now, I'll just stick to making some simple text and alterations that you want to um, log in and have a try. Um, anything particularly big or image related, um, leave that for me um, for now as part of your free support package. Um, and yeah, I hope that helps to at least get you started. Like I say, you won't do any damage as long as you don't click that green button. So log in, have a look, have a try, play around. Um, and like I say, then if just leave your browser and leave without saving if you're not sure that you really want to save those changes. So I hope that helps. Um, if you need anything else, let me know. Thanks for watching.